This next team knows that it can be difficult to pursue fitness goals alone and that we got, uh, we derive as people a lot of motivation uh, in keeping up good habits in a social setting. So they know that the web can make that a more seamless experience and uh, here to tell you about that, uh, please get up for Point Break. Check it out. Hello everyone, welcome to Team Point Break. I'm Aaron, these are my teammates. Bo Yang, Renji, and David. We are all travel buffs who. Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome to Team Point Break. I'm Aaron. Uh, uh, welcome to my teammates, Bo Yang, Renji, and David. Uh, we are all travel buffs who have dabbled in extreme sports. Uh, we just realized that there aren't any websites focused on inclusively uh, extreme sport travel with a social component of peop meeting people like us. So decided to fill this gap by introducing the Point Break, an extreme sport web application that allow users to connect with like-minded people who have the similar backgrounds, interests, and the fitness level to attend events together and keep track of their own health. This web application is developed using the full stack jobs technologies in order to make a single page user experience seamless and efficient. Uh, we take advantage of several third party APIs coupled with local database to fetch and uh, store data in order to display events as well as allow users to have event specific chats. My teammates will now take over to introduce the key feature of this application, starting with Boyan, who will talk about the matching algorithm. Thanks, Aaron. Uh, we knew from the very beginning that extreme sports enthusiasts, unlike typical social network users, are open to meeting strangers and exploring uh, new challenges together. So in order to emphasize that and uh, uh, in order to keep them motivated to use our app, we developed uh, an effective matching algorithm that was uh, suggest users with similar interest and fitness level. Uh, fitness data we get from integrated Fitbit API, while the personal preference data they can enter through our sign up, such as uh, preferred destinations, favorite activities, language spoken, age, etc. Designing and implementing this algorithm was really interesting and challenging task, which involved uh, detailed planning, analyzing, testing, and comparing data in order to come up with an optimal solution. And now I'll hand it over to Ranjit, who will guide you through search places functionality as well as D3 graphs. Thank you, Buyan. On our site, uh, site's homepage, as well as other forms throughout the site, we've got an autocomplete search feature whereby the user can enter their location or any location that they want to go to. And that would fetch both curated events for that location as well as Yelp events that are available in that location. This is enabled using a Google Maps API on the back end and is connected with our um, database that maps all the curated events for that individual latitude, longitude, city, state, and country. In addition to the autocomplete search feature, we also implemented D3 graphs uh, that take in fitness data, specifically the weekly um, steps that have been covered by the user, and render them on top of a React component. Uh, this was quite challenging initially simply because both D3 and React and to control the DOM directly. And we got that to work very quickly once we recognized how the two APIs or two libraries can uh, be segregated out. Uh, I'm now going to pass this on to David who's going to cover both the chat and the user management features. Thanks, Rajit. So we wanted to add a live messaging feature so that users following or joining the same event could communicate with each other. We decided the best way to do this was by developing a stateful chat room. Um, the chat uses um, uh, Socket.io and it persists uh, sessions. Uh, each user also has access to their own event management console. Uh, here you can see all the logistical and descriptive details that each event has and we particularly wanted to emphasize the difficulty part because we're matching users with only events uh, appropriate for their fitness level. Uh, in closing, I wanted to say that our team had a lot of fun developing this app and we're looking forward to adding more features as we go. Uh, thank you all for listening and check us out at the following links. All right, that, that point break, it looks great. I think uh, it's, uh, it's an interesting example of the internet's ability to like bring together these micro niche communities. Um, based on interesting data that, that connects people. So very cool. And uh, 
as a, you know, I, I personally like I've always been looking for ways to meet people to do random um, extreme activities, like I guess not extreme activities, but you know, regular physical activities. So it's um it's cool to see people work on that. Um, all right, and just a reminder to people who who are just joining in to vote for Point Break, pointbreak.rocks. Like this post, like that pinned comment, and you can check it out, pointbreak.rocks. Cool domain name. Yeah, definitely a cool domain to, uh, cool for a cool app. And uh, also, I really appreciate, uh, as somebody who's trying to teach project management and development, uh, how much emphasis they put into UI and UX to make a clean experience. Yeah. Uh, at full stack, we're not just teaching programming per se, we're teaching what it means to be a software engineer. In, in and they were using cool. Material UI as a framework? Yeah, so? I, uh, well, Material UI and, and other good. libraries as well. Yeah, it looked very good. 